Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to another movie review. I know I haven't done a uh, movie review uh, in a while. And uh, this review is going to be on Solo, A Star Wars Story. And stars Eldon Ironreich, I think that's how you pronounce his last name, Woody Harrelson, Amelia Clark, Donald Glover, Thandie Newton, and Paul Bettany. And... Of course, the film is based off of the, uh, the Star Wars character of Han Solo. It's the second Star Wars anthology film following Rogue One, uh, which I really uh, liked, really enjoyed Rogue One. And uh, the film was released in May of this year. Ron Howard ended up uh, directing the film, which uh, the, this film had uh, problems uh, behind the scenes. Because uh, originally the film uh, was directed by Phil Lord and Christopher Miller. But uh, they were fired uh, because of uh, creative differences with Lucasfilm. And so Lucasfilm ended up uh, hiring uh, Ron Howard to come in and be their uh, replacement. Which uh, Ron Howard, uh, from what I read, uh, directed 70% of uh, the film and uh, the film's budget had uh, at least 275 million dollars and is considered to be one of the most expensive films ever made and I just uh, finished uh, watching I just finished watching the movie and I was really looking forward to uh, seeing this film uh, when it came out you know, checked out the trailers. The trailers looked uh, pretty cool. Saw the TV spots. And to be honest, this film to me was a meh film. Uh, it was very generic. At some points, it was very boring. And uh, that that's basically what I have to describe this film. It's a very meh film. And... It was, it's kind of forgettable. It's kind of a forgettable film. And, you know, it was, it's, it, this was like a film pretty much to me that, you know, wasn't needed. We didn't need a, a backstory uh, for Han Solo. But uh, basically uh, what the film is about is it takes place 10 years uh, prior to the events of uh, the first film, the first Star Wars film, which was A New Hope. And we just see Han Solo, you know, in his, you know, with his adventures. He ends up, you know, we end up, you know, seeing him meet Chewbacca, also uh, uh, Lando Calrissian. So basically, pretty much, that's basically what the film is about. It's basically the backstory of uh, Han Solo prior to the events of uh, A New Hope. But uh, the guy uh, who played Han Solo. Eldon Ironreich, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. I thought he did a fine job as Han Solo. I mean, he's no he's no Harrison Ford. But uh, to me, Harrison Ford and to many other Star Wars you know, fans, uh, Harrison Ford is always going to be Han Solo uh, to me. And uh, you had uh, Woody Harrelson who plays uh, Tobias Beckett. Uh, he did a good job. I really enjoyed Woody Harrelson. He's good in... Uh, any film that he's in. Uh, in this film, he ends up playing, you know, Han Solo's uh, mentor. So he did a good job, Woody Harrelson. Uh, Amelia Clark, who plays uh, Kiera, who is uh, Han's uh, former lover. And uh, in an interview, she stated that uh, her and uh, Han's, uh, you know, relationship or her character's relationship with Han is that, you know, they grew up as camarades and they grew up as pals and partners in crime. So, you know, that's pretty uh, cool to, uh, that's pretty cool of her to, you know, talk about, you know, the character and, you know, how her character and, and Han, you know, grew up. But uh, she did a decent job, Amelia Clark, uh, as uh, Kiera. Uh, Donald Glover, who plays Lando Calrissian, he was very uh, likable, very enjoyable. 
And uh, Billy D. Williams, who played who played you know the original uh, Lando, uh, he uh, met with Donald Glover and uh, gave him some insights and uh, words of advice about the character. You know, Lando Calrissian, you know, Billy D. Williams ended up playing him in uh, Empire Strikes Back, uh, which to me is the best Star Wars film, uh, in my opinion. But uh, Donald Glover, like I said, it was really uh, likable, very enjoyable. I liked him as uh, Lando. But, uh, you know, to me, the film, the script was very mediocre at best. I, I liked how... You know, the scene where Han ended up meeting uh, Chewbacca uh, for the first time, where, uh, you know, he was thrown into, uh, where Han was thrown into that pit, and that's how he met Chewbacca. I like that, how he got to uh, understand Chewbacca's uh, language uh, for the first time. I mean, that was, that was pretty cool uh, to see. But, uh, you know, the action scenes in the film were okay they were decent uh, at some points it felt it the film didn't even feel like that it was a Star Wars film uh, that that's just in my opinion though but I would say if they ever you know Chewbacca Chewie deserves a backstory uh, to me it deserves a Star Wars uh, like backstory in this uh, anthology series these anthology series of films uh, I think it would be I think it would be interesting uh, to me but uh yeah solo a Star Wars story it's a very meh film it did not need to be it did not need to be made like who who asked for a Han Solo film but you know it's, it's just a, it's just a very meh film very generic it was boring in some parts, but you know, it's that's that's all I gotta say about the film. It's a very meh film. There's nothing more else I could say about about the film. And uh, the film ended up uh, bombing. Uh, the film ended up bombing uh, here. It only made uh, 392 million dollars worldwide. This was the first uh, film in the Star Wars. A franchise to be considered a box office bomb so that's pretty that's pretty uh it's pretty not that great though but with the uh the development uh says right here that uh phil lord and uh christopher miller uh they end up coming in and they ended up thinking that you know they were making a comedy film but, you know, Lucasfilm was looking for the duo to add a, a, a comedic touch to the film. And Lucasfilm ended up, uh, you know, felt that the directors, you know, Phil Lord and Christopher Miller were, you know, encouraging, you know, too much improvisation uh, from the actors. And so they ended up uh, letting them go. And then, you know, they brought in Ron Howard to direct it. So... And Phil Lord and Christopher Miller just uh, agreed to have uh, the executive producer credits for the film, which uh, ended up coming up. So yeah, so there's a lot of problems uh, behind the scenes uh, making this film. So, but anyways, like I said, Solo, a Star Wars story. It's a very meh film, very generic film, uh, script mediocre at best so yes yeah, so that's I wouldn't fully say you know to watch the film like go out there and rush out to see the film but like I said very very meh film in my opinion so yes yeah, so anyways that's it for my review of Solo a Star Wars story thank you all for watching I uh, hope you all enjoyed this review and uh, definitely uh, give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and until next video, I'll see you all later.